Beautiful, beautiful fish. We'll get him put back. Anyway, guys, sorry. Welcome. <laughs> We're down on a on a nice little mark that we fish. We're expecting the mate of mine to come down later. And we're literally messing around. That's all we're doing. Wasn't really expecting anything quite that size, but but all the same. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Yeah, just a little lock on it then. Just give it a gentle twitch. Just a gentle pull. No? No, I'll leave it there. Just check the other Guys, right, as I was saying, I've had a few flounder, um, quite nice ones actually. We're down in the uh, the old docks down in uh, South Shields, just messing around with the LRF gear, really. As I was saying, I don't know as if uh, any of you know or not, but some of you will do. I recently got a load of my gear nicked, all my LRF gear, all my lure gear got swiped, so I've had to go out and buy a new. As a result, I bought a new rod and a new reel, and that's it. It's the Corum Snapper Twin Tip. I'm going to do a full review on it very soon. But at the moment, all we're doing is a little Iowa Ninja, just a little pattern ostrich with a quarter ounce weight on it, and a bit of ragworm. That's all we've got. Got a couple of nice flounder. Kirsty's not had anything yet, but there's still there's still plenty of time. That's pretty much it at the moment. There's a couple of piss heads hanging around over there. To be fair, nearly got told where to go earlier, but we we decided to move out of the way of them. I can't be uh, I can't be suffering fools, unfortunately. So. If they stay over there, we'll be all right. Well, anyway, catch you guys in a bit. Oh, it's come off. See, that was your fault. <laughs> Flick it back out. It'll be there. It's got a little bit of that red leg, hasn't it? It's got quite a bit of backbone. my bad. Yeah, it's not quite as fat as that one, but... 
coming off. You could have put a bit of commentary on. <laughs> the same language. Just had a lovely little bite there, folks. I don't know if you can see the tip of the rod just there. A lovely little bite. Yeah, this um, quorum snapper that I bought here, I must say, it's it's a cracking bit of care. I actually prefer it over the um, I actually prefer it over the Savage Gear rod. To be fair, I think it's just got a nicer action, twin tip as well. Uh, 0.5 to five gram, I think. Uh, 7 gram and 7 to 12 gram but it took a 20, it took a 20 gram lure out, no problem it's the one I was using on the video up in uh, Locker Line as well so yeah cracking little bit of kit maybe about 40 quid as well I paid a little bit more than that because I needed the next day delivery because I needed it for Scotland but Definitely worth the money. All we're doing here, we're casting out, we're just gently twitching back. That's all we're doing. Obviously, that little bit of movement's just it's just enough for to get, to get the flounder interested. Keep getting the odd little peg. Standing at 3-3 three, three at the moment, Kirsten's had 3, I've had 3. Mine was definitely bigger this time. Around. There's no just about it. It was bigger, end of. That's all that matters. Yeah, but it was still smaller. Still smaller. Yep. You see, since Kirsty had that 612 Pollock, I've never heard the last of it off anybody. <laughs> and now she's, you know, she's she's making herself out to be this master angler. And, you know, I mean, she forgets that it's me that's taught her everything she knows, and it's me that is putting her on the fish, and it's me that's saying, well, look, if you do this there, in that particular spot, you're going to catch. And, you know, give her her dues. She's been shit up listening to me, like, you know, and she's, that's why she's catching fish. She's catching more than half my mates. To be fair, including Chris Churchill and Simon the Salad. <laughs> so, I think we'll rebait this. Worm's been on it for about 20 minutes and half an hour. Yeah, that's just the rig we're using, dead simple. Four trout's weight down here. I don't know, there's plenty of life in that worm. That Give it a good flick across the pond. Poaching. That's where Kirsty's been fishing, so we're poaching.
show you how to uh, use a massage tent hook. Obviously, a small ragworm. Courtesy of Fishing Republic, cheers, Andy. Just hook it through the mouth, bring it round on the bend of the hook, and then just pull its head over the the eye of the hook, like that. Catch you guys in a bit. Did you hear that, Scott? That was a dig at you. <laughs> I was just trying to tap the bottom of her rod so she thought she'd got a bite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to do it to my mate Scott. I used to just tap, tap his rod and he'd be like, got a bite. <laughs> I like praying mantis. Scott, if you're watching, I would just like to say, I'm not sorry, it was hilarious. It has gone quiet now. I caught those first few fish and it's gone quiet now, so. But we've got another little mark that we're going to try in a bit because I'm absolutely desperate to catch a um, sea scorpion. I need a sea scorpion and a couple of species of rockling for my species hunt. I've already caught them this year, but I've just not caught them while I've been doing the Fishing Republic species hunt. Andy Copeland's a bit... What's the word? He thinks it's hilarious I've not caught a rockling, yeah, um, um, sea scorpion, yeah. He does. Plenty of time though, we've got under six months, yeah, but it's just that they're the species that you'd normally get, you'd get them straight away. If that dog bites it. Fishing in the river, which is just over there. I'll see if I can spin it around and show you.
just there somewhere. There's a pair of local piss heads. That's who I was talking about earlier. It's not something I particularly agree with fishing and drinking at the same time. Certainly not shouting and getting leery with it either. It's not, for me, that's not fishing. If you want to get pissed, go to the pub. That's just my opinion. She's in again. She's in again, and it's another another flounder. Another lovely little flounder. Just a good spot on the LRF. Oh, they're Dutch. Exactly the same rig on Kirsty's. Be beautiful little codling. Four three now. Hours. I'd have made cruise up by now. He's talking Hey up guys, right, we've moved down to the Ratty, down on the River Weir in Sunderland. Bait and everything's still the same, but because it's starting to drop dark, we can't open, we're going to get a 
a sea scorpion or as they're known up here a granny fish. Um, I've had a little pollock first drop, Kirsty's had a, um, a nice little coley about five or six ounce first drop as well. Plenty of bites, we're dropping it to very rough ground, like there's boulders that are huge straight in front of us. There's just plenty of places for the fish to hide but it's also plenty of places to lose gear. This is more, it's more like drop shotting to be fair this. I know we're using a Paternoster rig. But the technique, dropping down the side, twitching the bait up and down is, is more reminiscent of drop shotting. Well, either way, we'll see how it goes. The tide's on the ebb, it's, it's, it's belting out at the rate of knots that direction, so it's pushing all the, all the bait and everything into the edge down there. So hopefully there'll be some fish. There's a few particular fish that I want for the species hunt. As I said, the granny fish, sea scorpion. Um, I haven't got a rockling of any description. Kirsty's got a five bearded rockling. Um, no, it's a five bearded. Um, I've got an eel pout, Kirsty hasn't got an eel pout. So, and they're all in here. It's just a case of waiting for them to come out. I'm gonna switch the camera off because I've not got much battery left. And uh, if we get out, I'll turn it back on. Hey guys, right. I'm just recapping on the video from last night. We didn't actually get much more. Um, Kirsty had a couple of nice coley, that sort of size. Um, I had a couple of smaller ones. But other than that, there wasn't much doing. The tide started belting out, and to be honest, the battery died on my camera as well. So all in all, wasn't wasn't the most productive of uh, the videos let's say I mean we caught plenty of fish but um, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to end the video with a quick uh, quick review on the new setup some of you like I said before some of you uh, you already know that I, I had quite a bit of gear nicked so I've had to go out and replace it all unfortunately but I've booked my trend I've um, I've kind of knocked it on the head because I, uh, everybody knows I'm, I'm massively into my savage gear so what I've done this time is I've I've actually gone completely off Savage Gear and I've bought something completely different, which is a Corum Snapper drop shot rod. Now it's a cracking bit of kit, to be fair. Um, aesthetically, the blank looks quite plain and boring, but it works. It's it's the same video. It's the same um, rod that I'm using on the at the Corrin Ferry Crossing on that video, catching the, uh, the the coley there. This is the rod. Um, as you can see, it's twin tip. It's got a couple of a uh, couple of different tips on it. One of them's uh, I think it's 0.5 to seven gram, and the other one is. Um, 5 to 12 gram which is the one I, I generally use to be fair but I mean it's, it's, a, it's a lovely bit of kit to be fair it's not like I say cosmetically it's just it's just a standard blank you know what I mean it's it's not the the prettiest of looking rods but it has got quite a bit of back to bone to it and if we can get it out the tips are interchangeable that's the uh, Five to twelve gram gram carbon tip, and the other one's a glass tip, so it's a lot softer. But it's 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 a very very nice little uh, bit of kit that I'd recommend anybody give a try. To be fair, it's um, I was when we was up at Locker Line, I was chucking twenty gram lures out with it, and it was coping with it absolutely fine. The reel I'm using. It's the Dyer Ninja 2500. As you can see, it's it's quite a nice bit of kit. This is about two models up from the reel I originally had. It's got a gear ratio of 4.8 to 1. And it's, uh, it's got four ball bearings in it as well. But it's it's very nice 
silky smooth and lightweight as well it is so that's basically the new setup um, there's not much more I can say about it really oh the two piece as well um, this the core um, the core rod is uh, seven foot Kirsty's new rod is the Fox Warrior um, six foot six again it's a drop shot rod it's very light it's cork handle it's not the uh, EVA grips I think they are, I think they're called but it's a cork handle again physically very light I think to be fair I don't know if you can just see the checker in there on the uh, on the blank I think to be fair it actually looks a nicer blank than than the uh, the coring rod but it's it's very uh, for a light rod it's got quite a lot of backbone it has it'll be nice to see how it handles a, a four or five pound pollock on it um, this rod six six and a half foot rated five to twenty grams so it is actually quite a bit heavier if you can see that at all yeah um, so it is actually a bit heavier than the core but it's a bit shorter so but because Kirsty's not got much finesse um, I just thought basically what I'd do I'd, I'd get her something that will cope if she gets snagged up with her pulling at it because it's pretty much all she does is try, yeah, like that. Um, but that's about it to be fair now, like I say I hope you enjoyed the video I'll be back out again doing some more LRF because to be fair I'm, I'm um, I'm, I'm cracking on with the LRF now, I've got the new gear and I'm, there's, there's any amount of different species that I've still got to catch with, with you know, with the LRF. Um, so there's going to be a lot more LRF videos to come. There's a, me and a few of us, we are seriously thinking about heading west next week, so that will be targeting rays and hounds. So if we do go, obviously there will be a video for that as well, but that that, that won't be, obviously, not be with the LRF. Um, so that's about it really to be fair um so it was a bit drawn out the video with you know a lack of fish but that's how it goes don't forget to hit the like button for me you know feel free to share and subscribe and if there's any while, while i'm on the subject if there is any videos that you would like me to do you know whether it be more lrf or more bait fishing or more lure fishing as a, as a whole just just comment comment and I'll, I'll do my best to sort it all out for you so anyway thanks very much guys I'll see you guys soon